My name is Larry James Neff. I was born and raised in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania, within the shadow of the Bethlehem Steel Mill. I am the son of a steel worker and have two brothers and a brother-in-law who were also employed by Bethlehem Steel. It was natural while doing my compulsory 12 years of public education, I would assume that someday I would become a steel worker. In December 1972, I started working for the Bethlehem Steel in the structural rolling mills. I worked on the 42-inch mill until 1975 when I accepted a job with the Construction Service Division as a rigger, a job I held until the mill closed in 1999. Riggers performed all the high and heavy work within the plant. Blast furnace rebuilds, high crane repairs, erecting steel, moving heavy machines, and demolition using high explosives. We used oxyacetylene cutting torches, welding machines, plasma cutters, and various hand tools to do our jobs. It was high, heavy, and dangerous work. We worked hard and play hard, sweated and bled, giving us a well-deserved reputation as the bad boys of Bethlehem Steel. When people visit the historic remains of the steel plant today, attending festivals and music performances, they cannot imagine what it was like when it was a fully operational steel plant. This pipe running parallel to the Hoover Mason trestle was the scene of a massive explosion in the late 1980s. It carried coke oven gas on a three mile journey from the coke works division to feed the blast furnaces. One night, an injector feeding oxygen into the pipe to make the gas more flammable stuck in the open position. The gas ignited, rupturing 200 yards of the pipeline and blowing out all of the windows in the adjacent building, leaving the street covered in two inches of glass. This area is now used for wonderful music and art performances. In 1975, when I became a rigger, it was an all-male fraternity. About that time, the company was allowing women into the plant workforce which had not seen women workers since World War II. In 1976, a woman named Brenda joined the ranks of the rigor department. While she was taking her various tests to become a rigor, the division foreman of our department desperately tried to disqualify her, deciding to make her climb the 260-foot furnace stack at E-Blast Furnace as one of her tests. My climbing test to qualify as a rigor was no more than a 20-foot climb. I was chosen as her backup climber on a hot August morning when we started our climb under the gaze of several foremen using binoculars to watch our progress. It took 40 minutes to climb it and she did it, qualifying her as a rigger, a job which she held for the next 25 years. My book Rigger is a compilation of stories from approximately 30 years of employment, mostly centering on my work at Bethlehem Steel, particularly my job as a rigger. It tells the stories we reminisce about at our annual reunions. You'll read stories about giant rats, practical jokes, picking locks, expected and unexpected explosions, walking on high steel and losing friends, losing very good friends. My book, Rigor, is dedicated to my union brothers and sisters, particularly the ones who have died in accidents within the industry. They will never be forgotten as long as there is someone there to tell their stories.